In the first 20 minutes, Darcy Quemper felt the puck just three times. Slow starts are typically tricky for goalies, who usually want to get in an early rhythm. The Washington Capitals netminder is no exception. But Tuesday night against the Anaheim Ducks at Capital One Arena, being called upon just three times in the first period was no issue for Quemper, who went on to stop all 24 of the Ducks shots in a 2-0 win. It has been an up-and-down season for Quemper, who was the backup to Charlie Lindgren in both games against the Metropolitan Division leading New York Rangers over the weekend, but he came through when Washington, 2-1-1-5-6, needed him against Anaheim, 1-5-2-8-1. He was fantastic, Capitals coach Spencer Carberry said. I thought he was great. A tough game, right? I looked up at one point in the second period, and there were maybe nine shots. It's a low volume, so those games sometimes get really tricky for goaltenders. I thought he was excellent tonight and exactly what we needed. Quemper improved his save percentage to .895 and lowered his goals against average to 3.13 in 23 games, numbers that pale in comparison to Lindgren's .929 and 2.24 in 17 games. But after the win, Quemper deflected any praise. It was just a great team effort, he said. It took the full 60 minutes to get it done, but Tom Wilson got the big empty netter there and we could kind of take a deep breath. John Gibson, starting for the second straight day after backstopping Anaheim to an overtime win Monday at the Florida Panthers, made 26 saves for the Ducks. Capitals defenseman Joel Edmondson and Anaheim forward Ross Johnston attempted to inject some energy into the proceedings with a spirited fight midway through the first period. But even their tilt, featuring about as many punches landed as you'll see, couldn't do much to lift a sleepy opening 20 minutes. The Capitals outshot the Ducks 9-3 and generally controlled play, but the lack of offensive polish that has plagued them all season kept them from building more than a one-goal lead. Defenseman Ethan Bears tally with 37.8 seconds left in the period his first with Washington and his first in the NHL since January 15, 2023, with the Vancouver Canucks, came on a broken play in the low slot. Bear pounced on a Nick Jensen shot that pinged off TJ Oshie's stick and then beat the sprawling Gibson. It's four on four. There's a lot of ice, Bear said. I just remember dropping the puck to Jensen and seeing him attacking, so I figured I might as well try to get my way to the net kind of had a fortunate bounce. I think it went off Osh and just tried my best to bury it, and it went in. The game's low event nature carried into the second period, when the Capitals did just enough to stay in front.